Rizq, the word goes back linguistically to al-hadh wa nasib which means a portion. And this gives us the first element of rizq, and that is something that is exclusively yours. The second element of rizq is that there's some benefit in it for you. So for example, if you own a home, that is your rizq because you have exclusive ownership over it, as well as, and thus the benefits come back to you. So what we get from this definition is that rizq is much broader than wealth. Rizq is anything that belongs to you and is also benefiting you. So for example, knowledge is a form of rizq because you benefit from it and you possess it. Uh, a spouse or children uh, or animals or water, food, etc. All of these things because it has that beneficial aspect as well as that exclusivity for you. The Sharia comes and adds a third layer to this and says that uh, others are restricted from benefiting from it without your permission. And what we get from this comprehensive understanding of rizq is that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran to spend from our rizq, it's, mu it's much broader than simply uh, spending from our wealth. Rather, utilize your knowledge, your time, your physical strength, your energy, among other things for the purpose of coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Likewise, what we get from this idea of rizq is it broadens our love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we begin to view much to view that Allah is providing us in ways that goes beyond the wealth and that causes us to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more. Wassalamu alaikum wa